Hello, uh, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm going to show you how to embed a YouTube video or any video or anything else, maybe an image, where you have the HTML code. So let's get started. Okay, here's a video, and I want to share it. So I'm going to go into Share. I hope you can see that. Share. Now, there are two ways of sharing on a Moodle or a website. One is through the, let me just get HD, higher definition, is through a link. And here we are. Here is the link. I can copy it and paste it. But that's not the embed. For the embed, I'll click on embed. Now, there are two options again for the embed. There is the long embed or the used old embed code. And then there's also the other kind. So let me just, uh, the other kind is just a frame, what's called a frame. Not every Moodle accepts it because uh, it could cause uh, viruses and other things that can come with it to your Moodle or website. So I'm going to uh, show you what it looks like. I'll remove the use old embed. Okay, and this is what I get now. I get a frame. Okay, I can copy this and paste, but I don't want to. So I'm going to click on, and you'll see the difference in a second, into the old embed code. And there it's a bit longer. And there's also information there like the size, width, and height. So let me copy that. Okay, I've just copied it. And then I'm going to go into my course so I can embed it. So first of all, turn editing on. Or if I'm a student, I don't need to do that. Students can also share their videos by embedding them. So you'll have to teach your students how it's done. I'm going to create a, uh, an area here. Okay, 12. So I can add. I'm going to open this up, this activity. Go into... Well, I could go into a form and add it there. But uh, I'm going to add it to label. Okay, I can also add it to a page. You'll have to experiment that with that when you get into the section where you're a teacher at the end of the course. Okay, section 16. So here I am. Here is my editor. I'm going to go into the HTML. Edit HTML source. If you forget any of these icons, just hover your mouse over them and you'll get the explanation of what it is. So I'll click on that and then a pop-up comes up and all I need to do is HTML source editor paste what I had copied the code and here it is now it's a bit small so let me just highlight it there we go now you may change the width okay now it's 560 you want it to be less and the height which is 315 right now or leave it as is and I update Okay, that's not enough. Once I update, I need to save and return to course, which I'll do. There we go. And then here it is. Week 12, not 16. Sorry about that. It's section 12, week 6. Okay, now it doesn't appear. So I'm going to refresh the page so that it will appear. Okay, again, I'm in week section 12, and here it is. Okay, so that's it. That's how it's done. Okay, so uh, I'm going to leave it there for now. And then I'll uh, remove it. Thank you. I hope this has helped. If not, keep asking questions. The only way you learn and the only way you'll become a truly lifelong learner is if you keep asking. You might consider how you ask, but that's no big deal. Just ask. Okay, feel free to do it for everyone to view so they can help. Or do it privately if that feels better by sending the facilitators a message. Thank you and happy moodling.